The Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water is a leading scientific award for innovation in water research. Established in 2002 by His Royal Highness Saudi Crown Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz, the prize recognizes work that addresses today's water-related challenges in creative and effective ways. The prize is an international, non-profit, non-governmental organization. It has special consultative status with the UN Economic and Social Council and participates on the UN's Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space. On the 4th of November 2016, the seventh award ceremony was held at the United Nations headquarters in New York City. The event was hosted by the UN Friends of Water and presided over by UN Secretary General Mr. Ban Ki-moon and the prize's chairman, His Royal Highness Prince Khaled bin Sultan bin Abdulaziz. In order to award innovation in every aspect of water science, the Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water offers a suite of five prizes covering the entire water research landscape. The Creativity Prize awards interdisciplinary work that provides a breakthrough in any water-related field. The Creativity Prize was awarded to Dr. Rita Colwell and Dr. Shafiqul Islam for developing a technique that uses chlorophyll information from satellite data to accurately predict cholera outbreaks up to six months in advance. There is no Nobel Prize in water. So having said that, really, this award essentially has drawn the attention of the global water community in a very significant way. Uh, partly because uh, the review and the selection process is extremely uh, rigorous, as well as the previous recipients are some of the best that you can find in the water community. So that has basically allowed this particular prize to get an almost recognition at the level of Nobel Prize in Water. So we are very pleased that our work is put in that category. What we hope really is this award will make this work much more visible globally and try to make it actionable. Say, in my mind really, and as well as my colleague Rita Colwell, we are really not just for science for science sake. We need science for societal impact. In that particular case, PSIPW has been phenomenal. The aspect of the award that I think is most exciting is that it brings attention to the most fundamental of human needs, safe water and freedom from disease. I think with those factors, we can provide stabilization globally and we can help millions of people. The Creativity Prize was also awarded to Dr. Peter J. Webster for a new process that evaluates changes in atmospheric and ocean pressure to give populated coastal regions a critical one to two week lead time forecast of potentially catastrophic monsoonal floods. People want resources and one of the most important resources needed for humankind and for animals is water. And that's why it's such an important thing. And why this prize is, is uh, emphasizing this extremely important aspect of, of of climate. The Groundwater Prize was awarded to Dr. Tisa H. Ilangasekra for enabling the reliable prediction of the long-term fate of pollutants in groundwater systems by modeling fluid flow and chemical transport in porous media. I think water is a very critical resource for all of us. And I think as a professional scientists and ordinary citizens, I think we have an obligation and a moral responsibility to actually take care of water. So I think I truly believe that uh, apart from all the words, apart from all these, I think all of us should do our best to protect this resource. The Alternative Water Resources Prize was awarded to Dr. Rong Wang and Dr. Anthony Fain for developing novel forward osmosis hollow fibre membranes incorporating a previously undiscovered positively charged nanofiltration-like outer selective layer that significantly reduces the energy needed for water treatment by membrane processes. I like this prize very much because uh, His Royal Highness and the Prize Council recognize and encourage the innovation of the technology for water solution and uh, encourage 
cutting edge water research through this prize. This, pro this prize will motivate young generations of professionals to continue work on sustainable solution. The Water Management and Protection Prize was awarded to Dr. Daniel Laux for developing and implementing the systems approach to water resources management, an effective, dynamic and successful framework to address practical water management problems worldwide. The importance of this type of an award is the, is the visibility it gives to, uh, to the field that we're in and how important water is. It's nice to have awards like this that, that, uh, that are noticed in the profession and are noticed by students and that, uh, you know, help motivate them to say, oh, you know, I want one of those awards 50 years from now, <laughs> okay, and uh, get busy and work on these things. The Surface Water Prize was awarded to Dr. Gary Parker, one of the world's premier geomorphologists, for clarifying the vexing problem of meandering rivers, the shapes they take, and how they change themselves and their floodplains as they migrate. His work enables knowing what is going to happen in a reconfigured watershed before observing it. Prince Sultan bin Abdul Aziz must be or have been a very, very visionary person because somehow he was able to see through sand and realize that what, what's missing is water. And I deeply appreciate the kind of vision that would bring a water prize or a set of water prizes to the forefront among world prizes. Not anybody would think to do that. It allows the water to be a global face. And PSIPW for last seven cycles have been doing this. What it has done really, it has gi given a global awareness of the water is an important issue. And it needs to be discussed globally and we need to act.